Greetings from Mount Esther, the mountain just north of Pikes Peak. My name is Rachel McNair, and I'm directing this message to my fellow pro-lifers. In Colorado, I'm sure you're aware you will be uh, voting on Initiative 120, late-term abortion ban. So many of you worked on getting that on the ballot, so I don't have to talk you into voting yes, but I would like to also talk you into voting yes on paid family and medical leave, which was another initiative put on by Citizens Gathering Signatures. Now, family and medical leave was uh, passed by Congress back in the 1990s for the whole country. And at that time, Henry Hyde uh, gave an excellent, excellent speech in favor of it. You remember Henry Hyde? He of the Hyde Amendment. And I'm going to be reading from that soon. But first, I want to just explain the basics. Uh, that family and medical leave, you could take a few weeks off of work. You would not lose your job. You could get back to the same job. Uh, newborn baby, adopted baby, ill family member. The problem is you were without pay all that time, which may be no big deal to some people, but it's a very big deal to a lot of people. And just think of the woman who is at the Pregnancy Help Center, how much it would be helpful to be able to say to her, yes, society values you giving birth to a child. You can still get the income that you need while taking care of this child because there was an insurance program that you paid premiums into and now you have this benefit. And furthermore, so does the father of the child. We're going to see to it that babies, newborn and adoptive, are welcome. And then, you know, when you have people who are ill, that's exactly the kind of situation, if they're very ill, where people say, oh, it's so hard, it's so hard. You know, it's hard this way and it's hard that way. Why not offer assisted suicide? Well, you know, we have a much better culture of life if we understand that, of course, family members who are of low income and can't afford to just do without income for a few weeks, nevertheless are able to take care of their family members. So this is something that goes against both abortion and euthanasia. Even though it doesn't do so uh, directly, it's just basically part of the culture of life. Now here is what Henry Hyde had to say. This is November the 13th, 1991. He says, as one who shares a conservative vision for our society, I don't think my support for family leave is aberrational, but rather it's consistent with traditional family values. The family supplies the moral glue that holds society together. It is the central institution that stands between us and social disintegration. And he expounds on that point and then goes on to say, well, here's legislation that in a small way helps reinforce the family by humanizing the relationship between employer and employee. Capitalism with a human face. Capital formation and entrepreneurship are important to our economy, but so are the people who do the work. We conservatives know that the struggle for freedom is the struggle against big, big government, but I believe that at a minimum, government exists to protect the weak from the strong. And that's why, whether it's a defenseless preborn baby whose mother's using crack cocaine or a pregnant woman who needs her job, there are human values at stake that government ought to protect. And that was what Henry Hyde had to say in favor of family and medical leave. I hope you'll consider a yes vote come November. Thank you.